Welcome back, Cancers. Hope you are doing good. Let's see what's going to pop in with Cancers. Okay. Remember, Cancers, I could be picking up on you. I could be picking up on the cross watcher. Anybody that's cross watching for you, you know, family, friends, anybody, I could be picking up on their energy because they're cross watching, okay? I could be picking up on a third party, meaning somebody that wants to know about you, somebody that might have been an ex. You know, dealing with a person of yours, whatever the case may be. I could be picking up on their energy. So if it doesn't resonate, leave it behind and look at your moon and your rising. I do them all, okay? So let's see what I'm popping with cancer here. And give me those thumbs up, people. Help me with a thumbs up. Let's thumb it up. Okay, this has to circulate through YouTube. Some messages here. People need to hear it, okay? Let's see what's going on with cancer. What is the overall energy for cancer here? What else? What else? So I feel like Cancer, you were having a little bit of trouble with money here, and some way, somehow, an offer is coming in, or you manifested something and made something, you know, <clears throat> oh my God, every time I let up the stage, that's it, I can't breathe. <clears throat> I feel like whatever happened here, whatever you're manifesting, whatever you're meditating on, whatever you're wishing for... Whatever you're asking your guides, the ancestors, the universe, your deities, whatever you believe in, you know, I feel like you had a little bit of money situations going on here. It's flipping over. I feel like money's going to start coming in because I feel like there was like a little bumpy road there with money. You're standing like the emperor. You're standing in your whole power. You're standing, you know, very firm. You could be an authority figure. Somebody in your family could be an authority figure is what I'm picking up. Um, I feel like, you know... The way that you're standing right now is like you're not letting nobody get into your energy with no bullshit. If they're not coming towards you with any type of like, you know, even if it's just friends is what I'm picking up in family. With any type of like positivity towards your way, you are going to dismiss everybody because you're tired. It's like you're tired, you know? Sometimes, you know, people enjoy the drama a little bit. Sometimes the gossip is good back and forth. You know, it's normal in humans. It does happen. You feel me? Like, girls are the most of the ones that gossip. And guys gossip too. Come on, my ex, when, he, when my ex used to break up with me, he used to tell me everything. So, you know, and I grew up with a lot of boys, you feel me? That's all I grew up with. So I know how it goes, you feel me? But you're standing your full power, whether you're a female or an, a male. You're coming out like the emperor, okay? You're building, you want to build. You want, you know, you want everything to be perfect. Even if it's not being rich or perfect, you just want your life to be peace and harmony is what I'm picking up. Okay, you're not letting nobody come in and disturb your peace because I feel like somebody here for some reason disturbed you when it came to your finances and your home. Okay, they took a lot from you, they basically drained you. Okay, whatever you were dealing with here in the past drained the fuck out of you. You put yourself in a state of mind, this is not going to happen again. I'm going to make sure this doesn't happen again. I feel like you got strong because you're very giving. I feel like you gave a lot. You gave to people like friends, family, you know, even your person that you were dealing with, whoever it was, and nobody appreciates it. I feel like there's even teenagers here, maybe kids that you've been giving money to, to go out and enjoy themselves, and they don't even appreciate it. Hold on a minute. What else for cancer here? King of Swords and the Ace of Wands. Listen, you're going to move fast, Cancer. If you're not doing it already, you're going to move fast. Something's coming in fast into your energy, and I feel like it's something that has to do with abundance, okay? You know, the King of Swords is showing up here. You're coming out of the King of Swords, meaning, like, 
you're going to get really nasty with somebody if they try to cross away. You're going to get really, really nasty. And when I say nasty, is like, you're right now to the point that if somebody moves, you're like, what the fuck are you moving for? It's the energy I'm picking up. Why the fuck are you moving? Because I want to move this way. I don't give a fuck. Why the fuck did you make that certain move? That's the way that I'm... And it's not a bad thing. It's just like you're protecting yourself because you've been through so much shit. It's like the emperor don't take shit from nobody. The emperor dismisses anybody around them that comes with any type of fuckery. And you're standing very firm. And let me tell you something. Somebody here from the past is going to come in and try to fuck this up. And you don't give a fuck. You're ready to go ahead to hell with this person. Listen, somebody destroyed your home here. Somebody destroyed a loving home, a beautiful home, a home that you had. You might have had kids, you might not. They destroyed your home. There was a home destroyed here. By a person that was very controlling. A person that was like, you know, a fucking... I hear like, man, I just heard cops in my head. I don't know why, but I heard cops in my head. There could have been cops in your house. There could have been chaos with this person where the police had to come to your house several times. But I'm feeling like this person has so much control over you and stood up like an authority, like I said in the beginning, that it destroyed your whole home. And I feel like there was a lot of police coming out to a home here. But you're moving forward and you're moving fast. And if you're not doing it already, you're going to do it now. Okay? You're going to do it in the near future is what I meant. I'm sorry. Um... For the most part, I feel like somebody here is going to try to come back and give you an apology and try to get you back, win you back. Listen, you ain't having it. And if they come back, listen, it's because they're going through it. I'm picking it up. Hold on a minute. This person is very controlling, had you in very dark energies, had you like afraid all the time. You couldn't speak, you couldn't talk, you couldn't walk. Listen, this, this person even controlled your eating. You got out of that. You're learning how to get out of that. All those nights of crying, all those vivid dreams, all those nightmares, all this fear you had against this person, I feel like you're not scared of this person anymore. I feel like what I'm hearing is like, and it's crazy because she's telling me. Hasta cuando comía, le decían lo que hacer. It's like, even when you would eat or you would try to eat something you would like, this person would tell you, no, you're not eating it, you're going to eat this. Like, who the fuck does that? <laughs> Listen, somebody tells me I got to eat this when I want to eat this. And you best believe all these crystals are going to go into their head. And I'm not saying do that. I've been going to do that. Who the fuck tells you how to eat and not to eat? This person at some point, I don't know. At some point, I'm picking up some cancers here. Had a really rough time when it came to looking for something to eat. For finding a place, shelter home stability everybody turned their back on you because of this person this person was so controlling you know family and friends turned their back and it's not because they wanted to it was because they had to because this person was very threatening to everybody it's like this person <clears throat> would threaten everybody would threaten you there was no other choice than to turn around but if it was me as your friend I would have made this stop. You feel me? So that's when you come in and you look who are your friends and who are your family members. Because she's telling me very clearly. If it was me that was seeing all this fuckery going on, all this domestic violence, all this mental abuse, all this shit, even with the kids, you best believe I would have gone in there and I would have saved you. Because that's who I am. So you got to look around and see who your friends are and who your families are. Because you ain't got no friends. Whoever I'm picking up here, you ain't got no friends. I don't give a fuck what happened. I don't give a fuck what this person did. Female or male. I don't give a fuck how scared everybody was about this person. Listen, you always need somebody to have your back. And if there's no ride or die here situation, you got to let them go. A lot of people claim you to be your ride or die and they turn your back on you. When this person was doing everything to you. You feel me? That's the way that I ride. And I don't know. Like I'm picking it up very clearly for somebody here. Like what the fuck? Listen. This person. Like made you feel like shit at some point. They would. Listen this person would. 
tell you were ugly. This person tell you that you were not worth it. This person would constantly, like, put you down. This person did not let you nurture yourself. And then if you're a dude, if you would try to do something, okay, what the fuck are you doing? Why are you going out like that? You're with this bitch. You're going to go do this because of that. No, motherfuckers. This person wanted to look good, wanted to look right, wanted to smell right. You feel me? Like, you know, dudes like to go out looking right too. You feel me? With your sneakers, your jeans, your jerseys, whatever. And this and whatever woman here would put on makeup, you know, would you try to look good because that's what women do. This person was taking it to a whole nother level. It was always something. You're going to do this. You're going to do that. You're doing this. Like, this person was insecure about them themselves. It wasn't you. Their insecurities, they threw it on you. You're not the insecure one here. It was them. They made you to the point where they made you insecure. They took you to the point where they took you down and made you feel like you were not good enough. And I'm telling you here right now, you are good enough. This person was the problem. This person has narcissist traits. This person is used to doing this to everybody. This right here, that was happening to you, the fear, the traumas, tired of being in the drama, the fights, the fucking dreams. You know, you couldn't do anything because this person always thought you were doing something wrong. You feel me? You got tired of it. I'm going to flip it. How it's supposed to be flipped. You're going to nurture yourself now. You're going to love yourself now. You're going to bring abundance to your life now. You're going to know you're worth it now because you're standing like the emperor. Whether you're male or female. You are worth every single fucking penny in this world. Every single one of them. Don't ever let nobody bring you down. Because this right here, you learn how to get away from it. You learned and you're learning. For some of you, you're still learning how to get away from this fear. And I feel like you will not commit to anyone until you are away from this fear. This is all illusions. It's all in your head. You need to go inside yourself and tell yourself that this happens to you and it's over if you're going through this you need to step out of this because they're just going to destroy your fucking home you're standing like the emperor you need to throw the trash away dump it and let the garbage man pick it up that's exactly what you need to do if you already didn't do that you feel me look at this the king of coins whoever here went through some hardships couldn't eat, couldn't find shelter, couldn't find a home. Some, you know, at some point, your family, your friends, even this person left in the street. You're going to show everybody what you got. You're going to have a lot of blessings coming in. You feel me? So many blessings are coming in. You're standing in your power. You're not letting anybody do this to you anymore. Okay? And I understand that you don't want to commit because whoever I'm picking up here on these uh, cancers here, you don't want to commit. Because you don't want the same thing to happen. But let me tell you something. You need to get ready. Because somebody's coming in. That's going to be good for you. Okay? Because you want it. But you're scared of it. Okay? This person really damaged you really bad. You need to get out of that energy. Throw it away. Like I said, give it to the garbage man. Throw that fucking energy away. It doesn't belong with you. Meditate in the morning and sit down in the morning and say that energy, these energies don't belong to me. They need to go back where they belong to, okay? Because this person is trying to get into your energy. And sometimes you go into your energy and think about all this shit that has happened to you. Forget about it. It already happened, okay? It's okay to think about it once in a blue moon. But I feel like a lot of you cancers still think about this a lot and what could have been. And how the fuck did I get out of this? And this person was so bad to me. Listen, you need to keep moving forward. A lot of abundance is coming your way. You're standing in your full power. You're going to get to your home restored again. And you're going to do this fast. And whatever's coming into your energy, when they come in, they're going to come fast. And they're going to want to be with you fast. So you're going to have to start nurturing yourself, start building, start making decisions now. If you don't want to be in a relationship, that's fine. You don't got to be on it. You feel me? Like, you don't have to be in a relationship. But, 
somebody is coming towards your way. And I don't care because I got people, oh, I'm too old. There's nothing that's too old here. I'm already picking it up. There's nothing here that's too old. You know when you're old? You know what? You want to know when you're old? Never. Remember we're humans living in spirits. I mean, we're spirits living in human bodies. What stays behind and what crumbles is our bodies. Our spirits keep on going. We never get old. Yeah, we have many lifetimes. We're old souls, but old souls are beautiful souls. You understand me? So never say that you're old because I'm picking up somebody here thinks they're too old. You know, to do anything, you're not too old. You still got a chance. Listen, I bet you anything is coming towards your way. You heard me? Hold on a minute. What is coming towards Cancer's way? <clears throat> this person is going to try to cause a tower in your life. <clears throat> but you know how you're coming? You know why they're coming to cause tower in your life? Because you're going to be holding everything in your fucking hands. That's why. They're going to fall from this tower. When they try to come in and fuck things over for you and try to come in with that stupid energy again, trying to bring you down, they're not going to be able to. They're going to fall off that tower. They're going to crumble on the floor. They're going to hit it first. Okay? They're going to try to offer you a lot of things. Okay? To get you back. Because they know that you're going to be doing good. And whoever's coming in here is coming like the Ace, of, the Ace of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles. You're going to get a really big gift from the universe. The universe, your guys, your ancestors, whatever it is you believe in, is going to give you a really big gift. Whether it's a relationship, money, abundance, a home, a car, a business, a new child. Oh my God, she just said, un bebe viene. I know when she says that. Somebody here might be pregnant. I'm sorry. Or you might have gotten somebody pregnant, yo. Okay. But listen, somebody here, whoever's coming into your energy is going to be a person that's going to offer you a lot. And when I say offer you, it's not money. And they're going to offer a lot of things that you're going to you're gonna be good with. Okay, so hold on in a second. What else is coming for cancer? The world. Beautiful beginnings, passion, love. <clears throat> My bad. Passion, love, stability, a person that loves you, new friends, you know, people that, you know, new people that you're going to meet that, that are different vibrations, positive ones. Everything's going to change for you. The world is coming in. Your world's going to be full of abundance, cancers. So whatever it is that you're doing... You know, whatever it is that you're scared of, don't be scared anymore for some cancers. It's not for all the cancers. Um, you need to keep moving forward because abundance is coming your way. A person is coming your way that's going to give it all to you. And this person is still trying to get into your end because I hear it now. They're still trying to fuck with you. You're going to see how they're going to crumble. <clears throat> because they're doing it on purpose. They're not doing it because they love you. They're not doing it because they miss you. They're lying if they're telling you that. They're doing it because they're going through it. While you're getting all the blessings in the world, the universe, your guys, your ancestors, your deities, whatever it is, it's going to give you. Okay? It's beautiful. Somebody here might be a dancer is what I'm picking up. So somebody who's pursuing dance, go ahead and do it. If one of your kids want to dance, go ahead and do it. They're going to make it really, really big i see this this person as a dancer like pursuing something really big being on a stage being watched being recorded i'm seeing it running from my face hold on a minute what is the advice here for cancer please what else okay give me a second y'all i'm sorry guys i have to answer that I'm going to finish really quick. I just had a really bad news come in. It says compassion. Be gentle with yourself. Forgiveness will set you free. See the light in yourself and others. So be compassionate with yourself. It's been saying it through the whole reading. Be compassionate with yourself. 
Forgiveness will set you free. Forgive this person. It will set you free. See the light within yourself and within others, okay? So forgiving this person is going to make you heal in some type of way, okay? Polarity. Po oh, God. Here we go. Polarity. Polarity. Are you serious? Mercury Retrograde has everybody fucked up. It says integrate your shadow side. There could be no light without dark. Understand the law of polarity. You always have to go into your darkness. Do shadow work is not bad. To do shadow work, it's good. You know, understand the darkness. You can get to the light. There's no such thing as not understanding the dark. We gotta sometimes we gotta go through hell, you know, to understand the light. You feel me? So it's just like whatever went on here i'm not saying that it's good whatever happens to us that it's bad i'm not saying it's good it's just that sometimes the universe our guys our ancestors put in those positions because we have to go through it okay so to get to a better place okay so that's what we need to understand let me see what is the message here for cancer what else what else Okay, the thought of you with anyone else drives me crazy. I try not to think about that. So whatever this person did to you, they can't stop thinking about you. They can't see it with somebody else. Well, there's, that's their problem. You feel me? They should have thought about that when they were with you. My heart is still open to you. It's yours. So they might try to come back to you and offer you love again. Okay? And fix the home. Pathological liar. There it is. Pathological liar. Everything they're going to come and say to you is going to be a lie. They might have told you already. I can't find you anywhere. No one compares to you. Yeah, they can't find you nowhere because you're the best thing they ever had. So, they're going through it. Feeling of being watched. Physical sensations, support, and calmness. So, if you feel like you're being watched and there's nobody there, you're at home and you feel like they're always watching, those are your guides. It could be past loved ones. Physical sensations, you feel any touches, you know, your hair, whatever it is that's weird. Those are your guys, your past levels. And if you feel a certain calmness when you're, like, stressed out or something's happening to you, you know, your guys are coming in to calm you down, okay? You're, even your past loved ones. So that's really beautiful. No matter who I'm with, I will always love you. I will drop everything for you. So this person's obviously obsessed with you. Whatever happened here, they'll drop everything and, you know, everybody for you. No, I think they're going to drop themselves straight to the floor, like I said, and hit the floor because they fucked you up. They're lying. They're a pathological liar. I snuck over the fence. Here it is. And found out what exactly. Hold up. I can't even read my own shit. I snuck over the fence and found it was exactly the same. It wasn't greener. So, yeah, that's why they're coming back. They might be coming back because they jumped over the fence, went to look for somebody and they didn't find you. They got played. They're pathological lying to you. So, they try to come back with some fucker you already know. Let's bring out the dice and see. So, it's going to be first, middle, last initial for you, this person, whoever you're thinking about, even nicknames. Okay, so let's see. You got an O here. You got a D. You got an L. You got another L. You got an F. You got an O. You got another O. You got a W, which could also be an M. You got an R. And you got a K. So you got two L's and two O's. Just flip this L and see what I can get you. You got a V here. And let's flip this O and see what I can get you. It stayed into an O, so let me flip this O and see what I can get you. You got an A. So cancers, I mean, not cancers. Yeah, cancers. What are we talking about? I'm confused. I just got a phone call and it distracted me. 
cancers keep on moving. Don't let this person come back with no fucking paths. It was for cancers. I made a mistake, people. Y'all yeah, know. They, sometimes they ask me, you know, once or twice I made a mistake. So don't let this person come back if they're pathological liars. They're only wanting to come back because they're going through it and they can't find you nowhere. Keep on moving. You're standing like the emperor. You're going to get a beautiful abundance coming in and a beautiful life coming your way, okay? So I'm going to wish you the best of luck and I'll see you later, my loves.